Fox. This is a great big warehouse facility where they built walls out of chain link fences. Ducey said. He also pointed to blankets that some detainees were holding as evidence they weren't being mistreated. While some have likened them to concentration camps or cages, you do see that they have those thermal blankets, Ducey said, at Joel Pollock. Border Patrol facilities are not ideal, but the care they receive is better than what they had on the long trek from Central America. Pick.twitter.com slash expa9pkh5hw, Fox. Politicians from both parties, along with members of the public and international figures, condemned the facility in the Trump administration's policy. A Border Patrol spokesperson told CBS that the word cages is not inaccurate to describe the enclosure. They said it's not inaccurate, but they're very uncomfortable with using the word cages, said CBS this morning Scale King, who reported from the McAllen facility on Monday. They said they may be cages but they're not being treated like animals. I saw chain link cages full of unaccompanied children. They sat on metal benches and stared straight ahead silently, rep. Peter Welch, at Peter Welch, June 17, 2018 The McAllen facility holds more than 1,000 children awaiting processing. Though they are not supposed to stay in the processing center for more than 72 hours, hundreds of children have been there longer because of a processing backlog. The Trump administration's zero-tolerance policy on illegal immigration has come under increasing fire in recent days for separating children from their parents while the parents are prosecuted. The Department of Homeland Security said nearly 2,000 kids were separated from their parents during a six-week period ending last month. Many of those children are being held in juvenile detention centers. The conservative outlet Breitbart also downplayed the McAllen enclosures, calling them chain-link partitions. Those Border Patrol facilities are not ideal, but they do receive medical attention, they receive food. They receive some kind of shelter, which is better than what they had on the long arduous and often dangerous trek from Central America to the border. Breitbart senior editor-at-large Joel Pollock said on Fox.